having a lot of deja vu right now to win. We had Rocky. Lisa, this is Alma. Hi, I am calling to see if there is a bed available for my scheduled induction date. What is your name? Kyleen Rodriguez. One moment, please. Okay. Hi there. Yes, we do. But you mean Kylie, right? Yes. Okay, yep. Awesome. Come on in at your, at your time. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, bye. Yay. <laughs> I feel like I just got even more anxious. <laughs> it's real. <sighs> okay, let's, let's have a baby today. <laughs> it's not like this really matters, but I noticed this morning my stomach dropped like so much. Um, if you're new here, I'm being induced. Because of my gestational diabetes, the baby's really big. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys and give you guys one little last bump date because today is last day. I will have this belly. And yes, this is just the cutest outfit I know. Whenever I talk, this part of my stomach like tenses, <laughs> but that's a drooped ass belly. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys an update from my appointment yesterday. So they were trying to strip me and she did, but it didn't really feel like what I thought it would be. Um, I was at like a one and a half two, so it wasn't any more, really that much more progressed than my last appointment. She did like three little sweeps and that was it. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be a lot more intense. I definitely contracted more last night, but I just kind of wanted to have like one last night where like we could get everything together, I could get a good night's rest, so like I didn't do anything to try and like, I don't know, progress induce it. it or progress it. So yeah, we're on our way to the hospital. What they're gonna do is they're gonna give me Cytotec, which is similar to Cervidil, I believe, and then they're gonna wait two to three hours and monitor me and see if I progress. If I do, they'll admit me. If not, they'll send me home and let me labor at home. And then I think six hours later, I have to go do another round. And then if that doesn't work, they'll just like keep me for Pitocin. So we're hoping that the Cytotech works um, and we can avoid Pitocin and we can just have this baby. <laughs> kind of loud, but I want your last thoughts. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling <laughs> emotional. Are you? I am. Oh, yeah. me I too. Like you talking to me about it, I was, yeah. just I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, fighting back some, some feelings, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just and excited as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. We have been here for like an hour or so. We just like got checked in. I'm like hooked up to the monitor. Basically, like nothing's happened yet. I haven't gotten any of the medication, but they did check me and she said I was at like a one. So even that like one and a half, two yesterday was like, it was like a one. <laughs> so the plan is to take the Cytotec orally actually and see how I progress and then go home. If there's no progression, come back. And I can do up to four rounds of that is what she said, so. Yeah, it's gonna probably be a long day. That's it. <laughs> First and only dose. It's like 10.30. Did just check me, I was at a two. So I was like double what I was before, so that's exciting. We're gonna go home, uh, Rocky's at home with my mom. So we're gonna say bye to him, he's gonna go with her. We're gonna get lunch, we're gonna go walk, and then we'll be back and they're gonna do another dose. Round two. Let's do it. Let's hope we don't go to round three or four. <laughs> okay, we're checked back in. We're just waiting to do the second dose. This time they're gonna be doing it vaginally, so hopefully, It'll do something. The last like couple hours, I've definitely been contracting like very consistently and they're getting stronger. They're not painful, I would say, but they're definitely uncomfortable. So I think it's doing something. Hoping this one will just like do the trick and we won't have to leave the hospital. It's now four. I've had the um, Cytotec that was inserted like vaginally for an hour now. And I can tell my contractions are getting stronger. Like they're not, excruciating but they actually do kind of, they're very uncomfortable um but i'm not really sure what's going on if they're gonna end up keeping me or like even doing another dose they said that they'll just like check on me in like 40 minutes so we're gonna go walk around um just the halls to try and get things going um and just see 
but I'll give you guys an update as soon as we get one. We could potentially be set home and then like not come back, which is just so confusing to me. <laughs> but let's hope that this like does something and we can just be admitted and that I'll be dilated a little bit more. All right, another update. Uh, it is five o'clock. She just checked me again um, and I was at a three. And then she said I was like 60 to 70% effaced. She also ended up stripping me again, which was extremely painful. She said my cervix was like super far back and she like pulled it forward or something. I don't know, but I'm hoping it does something. My contractions are definitely close together and getting stronger. Um, and they want to monitor me like another hour. Um, I think then I'll be monitored for like 15 more minutes and then I can walk around again. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, like I can clearly talk through them. I'm having one right now, but they're pretty dang tight. Um, it feels like my stomach is just like a rock and I can feel it like at the end of my belly and then in my back a little bit too. So here's to dilating a little bit more. Baby, how are you feeling? I'm picking up. picking up. You can still talk to them. Yeah. Which tells me they're gonna get stronger. But they're stronger. That's good. You're doing great, baby. Love you. That is. Uh, I'm starting to like want to switch positions and like. Okay. What about what's the pain level? Sorry. No, it's okay. It's me. I'm like. Oh. Um, during them, I would say like a four. I just know it gets worse. Like I, it's getting painful, but like I just know. There's like a next step, or yes, yeah. And I'm not there yet. So I think they're gonna keep us. I really feel like they just keep pushing it back. I know, like, yeah. They just had that shift change, so that helps. Yeah. So, so we'll see. How do you feel? You got a stain on your shirt. Yeah. It's cause All your munching. That vinegar you put on your shirt <laughs> came out. Um, I feel good. It's just like an unusual experience, I feel like. Yeah. Um, just kind of waiting all day. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad we have progress. I'm excited. Me too. Um, I hope we stay. Me too. Yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit about like an outpatient induction. I feel like until like they say you're staying, like all I've been trying to do is just like make them like let me stay. Yeah. And so we've been like walking a ton. Like I don't feel like I've like felt like I'm in labor because I'm just like hoping to progress and I haven't really relaxed at all and that probably isn't helping. But I don't know. I feel like we're in the right direction and we're making progress. I can't imagine them sending me home with like contractions like this right now. Hoping we stay. I feel like they'll be able to tell us more once she checks me after um, we're done monitoring just like my contractions for the next few minutes. Okay, you guys, I feel like this is where I should like officially start my labor vlog because we're finally admitted and I finally got like my IV thing. Um, we're actually in like a... Thank you. She totally caught me vlog. Yeah, I finally got my IV. Like, there was just a miscommunication. And just to not bore you guys, I'll explain it quickly. But I was registered as an outpatient um, induction, which means they can only do two rounds of Cervidil. And I never really understood that. I wanted to, like, get the full four rounds. I just didn't want to start on Pitocin right away. So we ended up talking to them. They were able to keep me. So we are now officially admitted. We're in an actual hospital bed this is the room i will deliver um our daughter and like i said i got my iv which tell me why like this is like uncomfortable and i dread it as much as like giving birth um they tried to get me here and it didn't work so i feel like that's kind of the nervous part of it all but yeah nathaniel just ran to get dinner it's eight o'clock now um they're gonna give me another round of cytotec at nine start monitoring me at like 8 30. So yeah, I'm still having contractions that are pretty like strong. Um, again, I can still like talk through them, but yeah. So anyways, I just feel like a lot better. I feel heard now. I feel like 
we're here i don't have to stress like that i need to keep moving and you know what i mean so um i also did ask for this peanut ball because while i'm laying here i want to try and help dilate myself i don't think i mentioned it but i was still a three the last time they checked me so that's why they were going to send me home because there was no progression they couldn't keep me whatever also i wanted to mention this time with gestational diabetes they haven't checked my blood once and i think it was because I haven't been admitted and I was on Pitocin right away and I think that's when they would like stop me from eating food. So that part's been super nice too, but this process has been so long. I just feel like, well, I'll talk about it in a future video, but like with my next children, I am just gonna tell them no induction. I'll let my baby come when it's supposed to come. Anyways, lots of ranting, but I think we're probably like 10 minutes in and I'm officially welcoming you to my birth vlog of my baby girl. I'm now contracting too much and can't get the cytotec. <laughs> and then now I have to get a bag of fluids before I can get more cytotec. So it's 9.20. I'm going to try and get some rest because I'm just feeling tired and these contractions are definitely getting stronger. But yeah, I'm like, what is this day? Guys, get your babies out without inductions. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. With that being said, most likely your Ooh, uh, is very heavy. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it does feel about the same because okay. I'm able to grab onto the very end of it. Okay. Yeah, and so. I'm just like stuck in it. <sighs> yeah. And if it's easier for you, you can even pop your pelvis up in the air. That might help me place it a little like bit. Like that? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, I know, honey. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's about as far as it's going to let me go. Okay. 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 So let it sit there. Um, I would say if you could turn onto your right side, maybe, okay. because that's the side that it's on, and that'll keep it in place well. Okay. Kyleen got her third dose of Cytotech and the contractions are really intense now. Um, but she's doing amazing. We're just waiting for more progress. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> almost there, almost there. Okay, I'm there. I'm there. Okay, so you're mm, three to four. Um, <laughs> Cervix is about the same. I'd still say about 60%. Okay. The baby's head does feel lower though, like maybe a minus one station. Okay. And your cervix has dilated a little bit more and it feels softer. Okay. So those are all good changes. <laughs> Would you rate your contractions at like an eight? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Do it. I'm scared to get it. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm so tired. Let's get this up and then we rest, okay? And I'll just... We're almost there. We're almost there, baby. We're almost there. Be still and I'll stop shaking. Right. Yeah. So what are we having? A girl. 
Sweet. Oh, yeah, home. Oh, boy. Awesome evening yeah. in the house. Yeah. yeah. Perfect little package. What's this girl's name going to be? Her name's Echo. I love Echo. Nice. I'm telling my coworkers about it. I thought that was so cool. I'm going to be making her a cute little name card with her name. Oh, nice. We've had some Dad's got to sit. New rules. We have a rule. We're like, Dad's got to sit. I've said it many times. This has gone numb faster than the right one. That's okay. Oh, yeah. You just start to just feel it on one side. We'll get you. Turned. It works with gravity, so whatever okay. way you're kind of hanging out on, it'll lean towards, it'll Sorry. fall towards that side. Whole lot better. <laughs> I got my epidural. I feel so much better. It is 3 a.m. So we're going to try and get some sleep. Um, I'm contracting a ton and I can feel it a little bit on my right side. So I'm kind of like leaning towards my right a little bit, but I think they're just going to let us like relax for a little bit this guy wants to go to sleep so bad yeah holy moly <laughs> but yeah i'm feeling so much better and i'm excited to just rest right now so hopefully there'll be some improvement i was at did i even say i was at a three to a four last time i didn't think i, I was, was basically the same thing after like four hours of like intense contractions so it was really discouraging i think you saw me crying yeah doing a lot better we're gonna get some rest and then oh you're moving really well though yeah, i like i said i can move yeah. quite a bit Okay. I'm pushing on everything. Yeah. It's a pretty thick bag. Without the contraction, you're probably in the six range. Okay. And the head is definitely lower. Gosh, I just feel like I feel so much right now. Okay, so let me call him back, okay? okay? It's almost five now. The epidural's not really working on my right side. I can feel like a lot of the contractions. And she just checked me and I'm at a six but like my bag is bulging and it's in the way, like I can feel it like in my crotch. So hopefully that'll break soon and things will get going, but I'm getting nervous because I can feel way more than I felt with my epidural last time and I don't want to feel a lot. We're having a baby. Her head is like right there. My water broke. They fixed my epidural and I didn't feel any of it. So now I'm like really freaking numb though. Um, but her head's like right there. So we're going to start pushing and meet baby girl. How do you feel, babe? I feel like you're like, are you asleep? <laughs> uh, I'm just like getting nervous and just Why are you trying nervous? to set you up. And, uh -huh. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I just feel like this is like <laughs> so casual, which I like it. It's chill. And should, we, should we be more formal? What do you no, want to do? No, I like we, 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 can start, we can start screaming yeah. at you. I just, yeah. The amount Push. that today was, it just yeah. feels like... <laughs> There's a baby that's gonna come out of me. Like I thought, nothing was gonna come out for ever. We were gonna get sent home, and yeah. It'd be kind of me to send you home at this point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she'd just fall out. I feel like yeah. as soon as I stood up. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I feel like yeah. Does it feel like you're contracting? Yeah. It looks like you are. So yeah. let's kind of help. Yeah. Pull these legs back. Are you and able to put your yeah. hand right? If you want to grab your yeah. legs. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Underneath. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. And then chin to chest. You want me to push? Push down, yeah. I would change my way. That so is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like I cannot feel. You're doing awesome though. Okay. Okay, literally like I can see the hair just okay. like this. So, Dan, you want to see? See, right there. Beautiful. Yes. Guys, I feel like I'm like too numb because I can't feel I'm doing. That's okay. Go ahead, one more time. Deep breath and push. 
push, 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 right down here. Keep going, keep going. Push, push, push. A little more, a little more. Amazing. Perfect. Great, 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 great job. Okay. So literally, like, now you're not pushing and I can still see the hair. Like, so even though it, it is dark, even though it doesn't feel like you're doing anything, you are. Okay. Okay. Keep it up, keep it up, more, 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 more,
It's her and it's our kid. They just get marked. <laughs> she came at 6.07 on March 31st. Her and Rocky both have the 31st birthdays, which I think is super cool. And yeah, she's just perfect. She nursed super well. She has a good latch. Um, she's been so alert, like her eyes have just been super open. Um, of course now she's sleeping. She was up for like a good hour, I feel like just kind of like looking around and her cry sounds like a girl. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end my birth vlog. I do plan to keep filming like just the next 24 hours or so, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long one. I know it took a lot to get to where we were, then it was all quick, <laughs> but that was my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. And I think to myself